In this video, I'm going to show you two Webflow tools that are going to help you build Webflow websites much, much quicker. I'm talking about Reloom and Flow-based libraries. Let's get started. Hey designer friends, this is Kabarza again with another Webflow tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two awesome Webflow component library tools that are going to change the way you build websites inside of Webflow forever. So the truth is normally we don't build websites from scratch. We start a project for a client, but the components that we need, we take them quite often, actually often more than not, we take them from the showcase, the, uh, com the Webflow community, from other projects that other members have built. But to do that, you need to go to each one of these projects and let's say you need a section from here and then an interaction from here. You, you go there, you need to clone each individual project into your dashboard and then go to the project, take out that part you want and then paste it into your client or your own uh, project, which can take a lot of time and then it's difficult to search these and also to style them because normally these are heavily styled. That's why I'm really happy to share with you these two awesome tools that will help you speed up this process. But before I show you the tools, I want to mention that uh, these are not, uh, these companies are not sponsoring this video and they are seeing the video alongside with you, uh, but they did provide me the um, pro accounts, which is really nice. And they did also provide uh, some discount codes that I will mention at the end of the video. So uh, stick with me till the end. So let's get uh, right at the first one. Reloom library. So library.reloom.io, which I will also make sure to link it in the description below, is a massive library of 800 plus components and they are adding new components uh, basically regularly. Uh, they have a huge list and all you need to do to start using this uh, um, library, you just need to uh, clone their style guide that uh, holds all the stylings. They have two versions. You choose the version that you want. And once you clone that project, it's basically a blank project just with some basic stylings. Uh, you go to the components where you, uh, to whatever component that you need. For example, here, the hero header sections, uh, we have everything from like very simple layouts to more, more of uh, like some modern uh, styles and all of these, um, all of these layouts are basically unstyled, which is really nice because it makes it uh, much easier to uh, style them. You don't have to delete the style first and then restyle them. They have a lot of uh, different components here. You see it's a long list and they, what I love here actually is uh, the nav bars. They have some really cool nav bars and to show you how the style, how, how this works, all I need to do is, let's say we need, we want this one. I just need to press copy, copying. It's copied to my clipboard. I head back to the project and I just paste it in. Command V or Control V uh, in Windows and I just paste it in. Now I have that, uh, basically that uh, nav bar and with this huge uh, drop down functionality and it works just perfectly fine. And that's the case for all other uh, components as well. Um, and they don't have, they don't just have these uh, components, which are a lot, uh, but they also have, this is new, they have um, e-commerce components, which is also really nice. And you don't even have to have e-commerce installed or like activated on your Webflow website to add these. You can just add them and then connect them. Um, that's also really nice. They also have page templates and page templates are basically like complete pages. So let's say we want this, uh, this page. I'm copying this. Maybe I can delete this one and then just paste it in again, command V and, and look, now we have a complete page just pasted in. Um, that's as fast as it gets. Right. Um, and they don't just have all of these components inside of Webflow, they do actually have it also in Figma. So this is really cool because you can start using these components, not after you have the design, but 
if you are here responsible for the design as well, you can use them as um, like a kit to start the design from. Um, this is also super cool and can speed up your process by a lot. And then you all already know which component you've used and basically um, paste the same components inside of Webflow. So you have the same things uh, in both places. And they also have these here UI elements, which is also really new. Um, it's super cool because they have also interactions here. For example, uh, accordion, a simple accordion with interactions uh, or things like a page structure. So you can directly paste in the page structure that you need from, um, this is from client uh, first uh, from FinSuite. So these can speed up your builds uh, a lot. Um, what's about the next tool? So the next tool is Flowbase. You've probably heard about them. They've been around for a while now. Uh, they've been creating awesome components for the community, but in the past you would have to basically clone them like any other component. But now they do have a Chrome extension that you can add to your Chrome browser. And once you do that and open a, a Webflow project, you'll see their icon being added to the left side, just like other Webflow um, icons. Once you click on it, you're presented with a lot of functionalities and components that will go uh, into one by one uh, just quickly. So let's say we need a navigation. We click on components, navigations. Here we can copy it to the clipboard come here and just paste it in. This is completely without leaving the uh, Webflow Designer, which is awesome. So this is even with animations and it works perfectly. But now you might say, well, these are heavily um, styled. What if I don't want them to be styled? So if we look at them, you see they are all styled and they have different styles. But what if you need just the layout without the styling? Well, they have this flow UI system, which is basically um, almost the same components, but just simplified without uh, styles. You can do the same thing. You can um, copy, for example, I want this footer. I copy and paste it in. You see it's not really all that uh, styled. Now, what else do they have? Uh, they have these guides. So these are basically tutorials all within the Webflow Designer without leaving it. You can open any of these and if you need code, you will be provided uh, even with the code here, which is also really uh, cool. So they also have this icon set. Well, actually two of them, uh, line and fill versions. Let's say you need an icon. So I need this one and I want to add it uh, here. So I just paste it in. And when I, once I paste it in, if I look at it, it's actually uh, an embed code. So what they are doing is they are adding an embed um, element with the code to, for, for that SVG icon. And the cool thing about it is that the fill is set to current color. So if you didn't know, when you have fill set to current color, then your icon basically uh, will inherit the color from typography. So if I change the color here, you see the rank, uh, the color of that icon also will change. And uh, you can animate this just like you would animate any other uh, text element. This is also super cool. Uh, I just wish they had more. There are like 2000 icons, but uh, it's still uh, a, a long way to go when you compare to huge libraries like the non -pro uh, non project that I use. Um, and the last one, they have this tool belt. For now, they have color swatch organizer and importer. Uh, the organizer is really nice. Let's say you have these uh, color swatches right here and you want to organize them. You can't do this natively in Webflow, but using Flowbase extension, you can just drag and drop them and organize them the way you want. Once you save changes, it will reload the project. And when we are back in, we can check and confirm that 
uh, yes, the colors are actually organized the way we did it uh, in the extension. So these are awesome tools. And as I was just chatting with Tom, the founder of uh, Flowbase, he mentioned that he's working on some awesome updates uh, to this extension. For example, they will uh, provide a version, I believe, of their Flow UI system that is based on client first from FinSuite, uh, which is really nice. Um, they will also have drag and drop. So I can imagine that you will be able to, instead of copy to clipboard, just drag and drop it to the designer directly, which makes it a bit easier, I guess. Um, you save a few more clicks. And another awesome tool, another awesome idea that they are working on is uh, Unsplash images. So instead of going to Unsplash to find an image and download it, optimize it, upload it back to Webflow, you'll be able to do all that within Webflow Designer inside of their extension. So you'll basically search the image, paste it in uh, the project, it will uh, automatically optimize it and uh, paste it in. Once they have this, I think uh, that will be also really cool. And I just wish that Flowbase uh, had maybe a bigger variety, a wider variety of icons and also components to choose from. Um, but this is something for the future to come. Uh, there will be probably for sure adding uh, more components and for Reloom, I wish they had a Chrome extension so I wouldn't have to even leave uh, the tab and stay all inside of the designer and add um, everything that I need from there. I've been using these tools for the past few weeks for client work and they've been honestly um, just a blessing to speed up my process a lot and uh, being able to just focus on the styling and not on uh, any of the very basic stuff. So now you might be asking, is there a downside to these? Um, well, if you are just starting Webflow and if you are not really comfortable with the fundamentals of how Webflow works, how the web works, uh, using these can maybe create problems later on if your client asks, if it's a client website and the client asks for changes. And I also should mention these are um, mobile ready. So they are mobile responsive. Uh, you don't even have to deal with that, of course, unless you do uh, a lot of styling changes. So are these tools paid? Uh, they have a paid version and a uh, free version, both in different ways. So if you sign up for Reloom, they'll give you a seven day uh, free trial without a credit card needed. And if you use um, the flow based components, you will have a month, you will have a monthly rotated uh, components that uh, are free. So each month you'll get some com components that are free and the next month you'll get other components just to try it out and see if it's worth it. Now, as I mentioned early on the video, uh, we have a discount code. You can use the code flux 20 to get 20% 20 off of your purchase for any of the plans uh, for both of these tools, which is really awesome. So go try them out and um, see if you like them and use the discount code. Now, if you want to learn Webflow, the fundamentals of how to build websites all the way to building amazing websites with animations, CMS and all that good stuff. Make sure to check our complete course on Webflow. I'll make sure, sure to link everything down below in the description alongside with the other tools that I've mentioned here in the uh, video. So till then, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Comment down below which tool you are using what other tools that you want me to mention or maybe explain uh, in the next videos. Till then, have a good one, peace.